China's Liaoning aircraft carrier is conducting training exercises in the Western Pacific, attracting the attention of the nearby countries. Japan has dispatched its JS Izumo helicopter carrier to monitor the Chinese operation. The U.S. military is also conducting exercises in the vicinity while keeping a close eye on the PLA Navy. Shenyang J-15 jets and Chang'e 18 helicopters hold takeoff and landing drills on China's Liaoning aircraft carrier, which recently headed past the first island chain to conduct drills in the Western Pacific. Japan's defense ministry is closely monitoring the Chinese operation. The exercises are occurring to the southwest of Japan's Okinawa prefecture. In response to the drills, Japan dispatched its JS Izumo helicopter carrier to the area. Also operating in the vicinity is the USS Abraham Lincoln in the Philippine Sea. In addition, the USS Ronald Reagan carrier will be at Iwo Jima starting Friday for drills involving five aircraft types, including Super Hornet fighter jets. And with that, the U.S., Japan and China are converging in the Western Pacific. From the time the Liaoning entered service to its latest deployment, this is its 70th time out at sea. It's the 10th time it's been on a long-distance mission beyond the East China Sea and South China Sea. We have a full grasp of its movements. Given the Liaoning's current capabilities, we know that it has no problems operating in the South China Sea, past the first island chain, or even at the second island chain. But will it ever have the ability to project power in distant waters in the way of the U.S. Navy? I think that's the bigger challenge for them. I think that these kinds of exercises will continue. We may see it gradually conduct these drills at greater distances and on a larger scale. A military analyst says that Liaoning's latest drill is a warm-up for the launch of China's third aircraft carrier, which is reportedly to take place this year. Over in the U.S., members of Congress have voiced concern over the number of warships China and the U.S. each have. U.S. officials have said on several occasions that China could have the ability to invade Taiwan in the year 2027. President Xi has set an objective to have his military prepared capability-wise that's not the same to say he's actually going to invade, uh, to seize the island of Taiwan. That is a very tall order, and it remains to be seen whether the Chinese will actually be able to execute that, the Chinese military, whether they will have that capability or not. But that is the target on the wall, 2027. We have to keep that in mind as we go into the future. U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley said China lacked international allies, whereas the U.S., Japan and Australia regularly hold joint exercises. He said such partnerships were key to maintaining peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific and to deterring China from acting rashly.